Hi Cancer, welcome. Thanks for tuning into my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Cancer for this coming week in September. Today is Tuesday, September 15th. So Cancer, this is a general love reading and that means that it can apply to just about anything in your life, any type of relationship, any type of situation or circumstance um, regarding family, home, work, social circles, um, romantic partners, enemies, frenemies, you name it, it might apply. I also want to remind you to be flexible with the, um, with the energy. You can be represented by any of the characters in the cards regardless of gender. This also means that you might feel like I'm reading for you, but you could feel like you're cross-watching. Parts of the reading may resonate for you, other parts may not. So take what does and leave what doesn't. My hope is that you find not only um, entertainment value out of this reading, but maybe there's something that will benefit you and help you out, whether it's confirmation of a you know a gut feeling you had, or uh, maybe you feel like you get some advice from the reading, or um, whatever, whatever it may be. I just hope that it's helpful to you. Okay, so we're going to give this first deck one more good shuffle. If you're brand new or unfamiliar with my channel, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. This is Carmilla in the background. She's a green-cheeked conure. Um, also, if you're new and you want more specific information regarding my readings and my, my channel, uh, there is more information in the description box. Returning viewers, as always, thank you so much for coming back. So let's cut these cards and, and get started and see what's going on for cancer. Here we go. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Strength in reverse. Seven of Wands. The moon, sorry, my son's alarm is going off. She always goes nuts. Because the sound is quite alarming, <laughs> needless to say. Um, nine of Wands. Temperance in reverse. Four of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. So Cancer, what have we got going on for you? I feel like you might be feeling a little bit defensive. Like you're ready to put up a fight if you need to. You might be waiting for some communication from somebody and, and maybe you're not necessarily anticipating po a positive interaction or positive communication or positive news because it feels like you're feeling a little defensive or just anticipating a struggle or a fight but I think that that um, Ultimately, there's a lack of clarity with the moon out here. Maybe you're not quite sure what things are going to look like, but I feel like you're feeling defensive. That's what I've got so far. Let's get some more cards out here for Cancer. See what else we get. Three of Swords in reverse. The World. The Fool, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups in Reverse, Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, King of Pentacles,
and then the Two of Pentacles. So we have the Knight, the Queen, and the King of Pentacles. The queen is in reverse. I think the Queen and the King are two separate people. Cancer. So you could be either one of these ener energies, regardless of whether you're male or female. Just, just bear that in mind. If you end up resonating with this reading and the content of this reading, you will know who you are, if you're represented at all. Because remember, you could also feel like you're cross-watching. Regardless of your sun sign, um, this could be a reading about someone that you know, maybe you're involved, or you know what's going on, you're aware, or it's affecting you in some way. So I just, wanted, I just want to um, remind all of my viewers that um, uh, of how to be flexible with regard to this type of reading, since it's general. So, so there's this Queen of Pentacles on the on the table, and um, she's in reverse. She's the person I feel is feeling a little bit defensive ready for a fight, ready for a struggle, a battle. She's feeling a little off to me, a little imbalanced, maybe feeling a little bit um, again, just not just not feeling real real solid or confident. She could be recovering from something, maybe some disappointment or some bad news or something that's just not going well for her. But I feel like she's kind of um, withdrawn a little bit, maybe in waiting. This person feels like they're in uh, self-care mode. In other words, feeling a little defensive, feeling like they need to be on alert, for example, be ready. Preparing themselves perhaps for, again, I, with this nine of wands, seven of wands out here, a battle or a fight or needing to defend oneself. This king of pentacles feels a little bit opposite that. This king of pentacles feels very positive. But he also feels a little bit like he's in waiting or he is maybe anticipating some information or some news, but he is kind of sitting in a little bit more confident energy. He feels a little bit more positive. I feel like he's also trying to maintain, maintain a sense of positivity. Um, and, and maybe that's just a little bit of a different um, perspective that these two people have because I feel like they could potentially be waiting on the same thing. I think that this is a reading uh, regarding something that these two are, are both involved in or part of or it could be the relationship between these two. Um, The King of Pentacles is somebody who's very loyal and compassionate and trustworthy, uh, a caregiver, provider, protector, family man, for example, someone who works very hard, somebody who um, you can depend on and count on for just about anything. But um, I do sense kind of opposite energy from these two. Ouch! Okay, that was uncalled for. That was totally uncalled for. So she just decided to fly into my head. Wait till I put my hand up there, which I do every time because she doesn't sit. I don't let her sit on my head. And usually she climbs on my finger this time. She bit me. And then she flies away. What the hell is that? And then she goes back to snacking. Like, oh, just, you know, it's what I do. There you go. She's usually a very nice, kind bird, but she can be a little shit sometimes. And there she was, being a shit. Okay, Cancer, sorry about that distraction. I'm not bleeding yet. 
Okay, let's get some more cards on the table. I don't have a whole lot else going on here except for these two energies feeling very, uh, very different from one another. Let's see what else we get. We have the world again, this time in reverse with the same set of cards. And the five of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Queen of Cups, clarifying this Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. And then there's that alarm again. Five of Cups. The distractions, the squawking, the fact that I got bit makes me want to start this video over. But I'm going to push on. Let's see, see if we can't get something for, for cancer, something significant. <clears throat> okay, so five of cups in reverse here, five of cups in, in the upright position over here. With this king and queen of pentacles, we have a queen of cups on the table. I think this Queen of Cups is probably the same person as the Queen of Pentacles. So I think this Queen of Cups is feeling um, defensive about something, something that I think she was hurt by, possibly in the past. Some, maybe this is something that she's um, preparing herself for because this is maybe a repeated um, situation for her. I feel like it's something that she's recovered from, but she's defensive about maybe happening again. So I feel a little bit like this King of Pentacles kind of is anticipating maybe the same thing or something similar or they're both anticipating something. But his approach is different. He is, um, I feel like he's made a stand. He, he feels like he, he has what he needs in order to, to be okay. Even if um, what he's anticipating causes him some grief, I feel like he knows he can get through it. He's going to be okay. That's what I've got from this. I just get the sense that he's kind of made this decision for himself that no matter what happens, I'm going to be okay. Even if it, if it causes some grief, um, I'll get through it. And not only that, I feel like he potentially could be supportive of others. So these two could know each other. They could be um, a married couple. They could be friends, family members, colleagues, co-workers, business partners, just about any kind of relationship. But there, there could be a connection here where I feel like this um, queen is feeling a little more defensive, maybe unsure, on guard, ready for a fight, ready for a battle. And this king's like, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. I've got this under control. So there's something, again, there's something unknown here. There's something I feel like is being anticipated. Um... I'm gonna get some more cards out here. This could be a working relationship. We do have a lot of pentacles. Three of pentacles, nine of pentacles. 
king and queen, of course, of pentacles, knight, and four, two. Six of pentacles in reverse. So this could be a working relationship. This could be a colleague, co-worker. Or these people, these two people could, um, you know, they could be, if they're a married couple, for example, they could be a married couple that works together or is building something together, creating something together. So let me get, uh, I'm going to give this deck one more shuffle and then we're going to see what else we get for Cancer. What else for Cancer? Nine of Swords in Reverse. Two of Swords again in Reverse. Page of Wands again. Four of Cups. Temperance in the upright position this time. Page of Cups. Strength again, this time in the upright, clarifying this king. And then we have the queen of swords. Okay, so here's the message I have, and it, it, it feels kind of general right now. It feels like it could go a lot of different ways. But I feel like both of these people are anticipating some kind of information, some news, maybe a message. Um, there's something that eventually will be brought to light. Um, I feel like it is, it's not necessarily on a timeline, so it's maybe unknown as to when this information or this news will come to light. Um, unpredictable. This king anticipates it may not be positive news. In other words, it could cause some pain and hurt, some emotional discomfort in some way however I think that he feels that it is potentially um, something that could move things forward in a positive direction in other words there could be some healing maybe some closure maybe clarity that allows uh, the people involved in the situation to come to terms with things or something about this where Um, an understanding or clarity will not necessarily feel good when it first is received, but it may promote um, some movement forward in a positive direction, whether that's in the form of healing or closure or clarity, you know, understanding, just maybe exposure of the truth, things like that. Things that make somebody feel better because it may not be a good situation, but it's a situation where there's a, a clear understanding, maybe, of something that happened or something of that nature. Now, I feel also that this King of Pentacles is kind of serving as a model. Um, don't necessarily do what I say, do what I do, or, or you know, follow, follow me in, um, in the way that I am or the way that I act. You know, don't just don't just take my word for it. In other words, um, see that I can also follow my own advice. For example, I'm not just going to talk the talk. I'm going to walk the walk, and I'm going to walk you through this. And I think that he is hopeful that this Queen of Pentacles is going to trust him, because I think he's saying you need to open your heart. I know that this was hurtful in the past, because I do feel like this is a repeated event. I feel like this is something that's happened before that was very painful or hurtful to one or both of these parties. And I think this queen is being asked to be open to receiving something in the past that may have um, caused her pain and grief. But this time around, if she's still receptive to it, somehow I think that there is potential for um, healing 
if she's receptive to receive what's hurt her in the past. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm hesitant to give an example because I feel like this is the type of message that could could, could go in a lot of different directions. Some, there's the alarm again. I'm sorry. I've asked him so many times to change that ringtone because it's a really disturbing ringtone. I know you can't hear it on that end, but... Trust me, we can hear it out here, and Carmilla can especially hear it. And she reacts the same time every time she squawks. <laughs> and then she sits here and chatters. I don't know if you can hear her. But sometimes sometimes it sounds like she's saying, what's that noise? What's that sound? It's, not, it's really cute when she chatters. But anyway. <laughs> Back to cancer. It's the alarm. You know that it's it's your dad's alarm. You know what it is because you hear it all the time. Just don't ask me what the sound is. Sorry, I feel compelled to answer her questions. <laughs> um, okay, so that's what I got. Anyway, I, I am a little resistant to providing an example. Um, because I feel like this can go a lot of different directions. But if I think of a good one, I will. I'm going to get this last round out. Um, the moon in reverse just flipped up um, upright. And that's, you know, honestly, with the moon out here in the upright position and now in reverse, popping up out of the cards. We'll see if it comes up again. Um, I do feel like, again, there is something that's unknown or hidden or unexposed or something that needs to come out or some clarity, maybe some communication. Could be in the form of communication. Or, you know, third party word of mouth, um, you know, here's what we know, here's what we've got, you know, maybe somebody giving you news, that kind of thing. So let's get this last round out for cancer and see what else we get. Four of swords. There's a lot of swords in your underlying energy too. See, I feel, I get the sense that it's going to be in the form of communication. Maybe, um, you know, through a text message, phone call, word of mouth, third party, providing information. But it's going to be like this, something spoken, not an action taken, but some information coming your way, Cancer, that's going to be what these two are kind of anticipating. Hierophant. Knight of Wands in reverse. Justice. There's the King of Pentacles again with this Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. Hanged man. And then the three of pentacles this time in the reverse. So this this is interesting because there's the repeats. Repeats are the repeat cards that are coming up. I'm sorry, I start talking too fast and I jumble my words. The repeat cards that are coming up are clarifying the parts that um, of the reading where I was kind of getting this message that this king of pentacles is... Um, the, both of these people, Queen and King of Pentacles, are anticipating something and feeling kind of opposite about it. But this King of Pentacles, now with this Page of Swords coming out here, I feel like he is is informing. Informing could be in the in the form of talking to this Queen. Um, you know, maybe they're texting back and forth. Whatever the case may be, there's some kind of communication between these two. And this King is, I think, trying to comfort this Queen, but also giving advice in the form of. Don't anticipate this being something that's going to be painful or negative or hurt you. It might hurt, but it's going to be for the better because it's going to be what needs to happen in order for some clarity, some answers, and to recover. And to recover from whatever this was. Because I think this is something that, again, it could have been something that happened in the past or this could be a reoccurring event that is being anticipated or reoccurring news or information maybe it could be it could be about another connection or relationship 
um, or something that occurred in the past that they're anticipating happening again could be in the form of finances, money, work, home because of the pentacles that are, are out here. But I feel like it could it could be it could pertain to a number of different things, including emotional connections, relationships. It could be both, obviously. Um, but I think this king is saying, look, you, you know, anticipate this coming. Yeah, it might cause some hurt, but open up yourself, open yourself up to receiving this news with an open heart. And with the anticip anticipation that um, you may feel ready for a fight, maybe it'll, it's going to trigger you, but ultimately what's going to do is it's going to um, provide some healing in whatever form that, that looks like for you, Cancer. I get the sense that healing in the emotional sense, maybe the psychological, because I feel like there's a lot going on here where with this moon, there is, um, I feel like, I, I feel like what's unknown or what hasn't been closed out or what these people are anticipating is something that, um, it's probably been going on for a while. And in order to feel okay about something that you're unclear about or something that you don't, you, you can't, you don't have the answer to something that you are um, maybe feeling some anxiety about. I can tell I'm starting to ramble, but I, what my point is, I feel like I feel like this queen especially has removed herself or separated herself from the un unknown in order to detach, in order to ignore, in order to move forward regardless of what she knows and what she doesn't know. Um, so there was probably also an emotional detachment and I feel like this king is saying you know what it's time to open up your heart again be ready to receive whatever this is and um, be ready to possibly experience um, something positive out of this instead of something negative this time with the three of pentacles coming out here twice in reverse in the upright I feel like it, it could pertain to a working relationship a connection where um, maybe it's a again a business partner co-worker colleague family member that that one or both of these parties work with or are creating something with but it feels like a collaborative relationship or some kind of connection that is associated with whatever these two are anticipating So I'm gonna get one card for Cancer and we're gonna wrap this reading up. While I'm shuffling, I'm gonna see if I can't get anything more for you, Cancer, while I look at these cards. The, the other thing that's, that's definitely sticking out for me in this reading is that um, this is something that's been going on for a period of time. Um, I don't feel like there's any specific timeline, which is kind of unfortunate. And I say that because I think that's part of this, the hesitation of this queen and why she's feeling a little bit defensive or uncertain about opening up her heart or being, or, or, or being vulnerable again to whatever this is. And it's because um, there's no timeline. So she's being asked to open her heart and be um, open-minded and be willing to receive this, whatever this is, even though it might cause some pain or, um, you know, some familiar grief that she's, I feel like she's already experienced. So to open up your, your mind and your heart and be willing to receive something that's already caused you pain without a um, timeline, deadline, due date, a uh, time when you can anticipate, for example, a phone call or you're anticipating news about, you know, um, maybe news from a doctor or whatever and they you know they've done the diagnosis and they can give you the information it doesn't feel like it's on a timeline to me it feels like it could be potentially up in the air because it is there's that alarm again be ready for the squawking it didn't happen maybe because i was talking over it anyway um it could be that that, that they're anticipating some news that they don't have any control over when it comes in you know that kind of thing So that could be challenging for somebody who's already feeling a little fearful and concerned about um, 
the outcome of receiving this, whatever this is, this news, this information, communication, whatever this is. Okay. I want one card for Cancer. One card for Cancer to wrap up this reading. I think, too, this with this Hangman and Strength card with this King of Pentacles, I think this King of Pentacles has put a lot of effort into analyzing the situation, maybe trying to come to terms with it. He's created a lot of, comfort, uh, a lot of um, confidence and strength, and um, he's just feeling a little bit like a protector in this situation where he's feeling a little more prepared a little more confident to receive whatever this is that they're anticipating. I think he's put in the work, though. Um, I think he, he is field obligated or feel like he feel, he's field, he's felt obligated or has felt um, like maybe it was his place to take on a certain level of responsibility um, in that sense of being the protector, which is what a king of pentacles would do. Oops. Oh, okay. This one flopped out. Seven of Wands or Seven of Fire, which actually was the third card out in your reading. Um, this card has a different meaning than the Seven of Wands, but just real briefly, I'll talk about the Seven of Wands can be about feeling defensive, standing your ground, being ready for a fight. This is this is the energy I got off of this Queen of Pentacles. Um, feeling grounded, but also you know ready to um, defend yourself if needed. Um, it's positive energy, but it's also defensive energy. Uh, the Seven of Fire, this card has a little bit of a different meaning, and I'll read it from the book. And I do believe, if I'm remembering correctly, it has a lot to do with intuition, listening to your gut, your sixth sense. And see how this resonates for Cancer. Seven of Fire is just about a page long, not too long. I'll display the card for you while I read. Here I go, Cancer. Adjust my chair a little bit. The Seven of Fire represents the development and use of one's intuition to see the way forward and predict possible outcomes. Intuition is that gut feeling. It is an instinctual or unconscious knowing that when you heed it, can keep you safe from making mistakes and lead you to being in the right place at the right time. It is a feeling of recognition that we often ignore, but if we choose to heed, can have us moving through life in harmonious accord with our surroundings. In actively using and then trusting your intuition on a regular basis, you may find your, you observe more and in turn you learn more. You start to see and take notice of signs and messages along the way. You take notice of those little inexplicable coincidences and moments that keep repeating, and if you heed them, can take you on an adventure of discovery, revealing not only the truths you seek, but also your reason for being. Using and heeding your intuition can lead you to opportunities and experiences that offer the potential to both fulfill you and inspire others. However, to trust in one's intuition requires that you look within and determine what the message means to you personally. You can ask advice of another, you can seek guidance from another, but only you know your answers. Personal interpretation is key. Trusting in the knowledge that is stored within your unconscious mind is key. Third parties can offer insight and they see and understand life through eyes that have been shaped and influenced by their experiences, not yours. Only you know what something means for you specifically. Only you know if something is right for you. The Seven of Fire represents a need to actively develop or trust in your intuition and instincts at this time. Look around you, observe, speak to the cards on a regular basis and honor the truths revealed by going where your intuition leads you. So. I feel like that's what this king is doing, and I feel like um, it's the advice he's also giving to this queen. I feel like he's definitely heeding his in intuition, and what his intuition is telling him is that this there is some anticipation of something, news, a word, uh, uh, incident, or a situation that, that could potentially cause a five of cups kind of grief, could potentially cause this. Um, however, I feel like this King of Pentacles has made a decision to um, stay grounded and to listen to his gut and also to advise this queen that, you know, what's important to know is that, first of all, everything happens for a reason. We all make mistakes. We all go through dark times in our lives. And if you reflect back on those times, you'll probably find that those are the times when you learn the most 
and you become a better person, ultimately because of the hardest times in your life, right? So I think that's what this king is understanding, and I think that's what he's um, hoping to impose upon this queen, to assure her, protect her, um, soothe her, guide her. Um, I think that's what he's doing. I think that this queen, fortunately, is definitely hearing um, what he's got to say. And I think that she's, part, she's hearing what he's got to say because she does feel like she needs to hear it. Like this is something that she needs. I think she needs the comfort. I think she needs the guidance. I think that she needs the support. And she's getting that from this King of Pentacles. Now, I cannot tell, Cancer, and I apologize for that, but I can't tell based on this general reading what this is that these two are waiting for. With the Pentacles, it could, like I said before, it could be financial or job-related. could be related to the home or a working situation, something of that nature. Um, I can't... I can't tell when this when this will transpire, but it feels like it's probably within the near um, future, if not present. So I'm going to leave this here, Cancer. I hope the reading resonated for you. I wish I could have provided you more information, but if it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe. If you feel like leaving a comment, sharing your story, I always appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Cancer.